Welcome back to the show, everyone. There are a few things more daunting than trying to figure out how to arrange your furniture so it looks stylish, it still looks open, but it's still functional and livable as and well. And that's why we have interior that's designers right. in the world. <laughs> and Dwayna Sprague is from Good Space, and she's going to be teaching us some stuff today. How are you? How are you? Well, thank you. So tell us about Good Space and what it is that you do. Uh, Good Space is an interior design company here in Vancouver. Um, we specialize in design planning and more specifically comprehensive do-it-yourself design plans for homeowners. And you okay. take a lot of the complication out of it for people because it is, it's really intimidating even if you're it working is. with a designer and you don't know the language. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, mystique and sort of hocus pocus around interior design unfortunately. And then there's the other part of it where people are seeing it on TV and they make it look so easy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say it's super, super hard, otherwise people then wouldn't want to try it, but yeah. I think it's really important to understand that with the right tools and with the right skills, you can yeah. accomplish well, what you I, want. I just, I love this yeah. ad that you brought in because it's so fun, because everybody's done that. Yeah. Like, you've bought a piece of furniture thinking that, that it's going to sit yeah. in yeah. your yeah. space, your best friend. <laughs> and it doesn't work it's when you true. get a tool. It's true. I think we've all um, made this mistake. This is a pretty dramatic. Um, <laughs> well, but, but, but very Vancouver. But really, but it is. everybody's perfect. living in 500 square feet. Yeah, but they. they and then, then there's that element of downsizing. So people don't realize that the giant sofa from the big house, when they downsize, they bring it with them, and it breaks their heart. Eight can't get in the elevator, and then how's it going to fit in right. the living room? So, yeah. so uh, say I came to you and I needed help. What is the first thing you do when you consult a client? Well. We have sort of this mantra at Good Space, and we have five fundamental elements of good interior design. The first one being you, and we've got all these cute little images to sort of convey that, you being the client. So what you want, who mm -hmm. you are, and how you live in right. your space. Those are like key and essential. Right. Without that, we've got nothing. Do you have kids? It do you pets, like their toys? Their who pets? comes around? Right. Who, how do you entertain? That kind of stuff. So those right. are really important things. Then the second part of it is function, and function is how does it work and how's it going to fit in the space? And so what do you need and how are we going to fit it in? Because so a lot of people of, have so many things that they don't need where they can yeah. make their space so much more functional if they just downsize yeah, a Yeah, and it's hard to let go. You know, it's emotional and people get attached to things. So some They're pack rats. A little. A little. <laughs> we all are. We're all deep Twitter down. doesn't like to use that term. <laughs> deep down, we're all hoarders at heart. But I think, and now there's a lot of emotional attachment to stuff. And sometimes so true. it's just easier if someone kind of talks you off the ledge a little bit and helps you get And sometimes stuff's awesome and people are too quick to get rid of it and yeah. it's still in good shape and we can make it good you again make for you, especially uh, if you love it. What of surfaces, what, is it, what does that mean? Well, is that just... surfaces is everything that goes on the floors, the walls, the windows, and the ceiling. So we kind of simplified it to, to make you understand that, that all of these things are connected. And a lot of times people get excited about one element and don't understand that it's all connected. So it can be kind of tragic. If you skip one thing, the rest of it sort of falls right. out it of place. It throws everything off. So then the other element is light. So it's light where it's coming from and how to control it. That's and light the simplification is so of it. It is really important. And, and you know in what you do, without good lighting, well, you look... people are just going to be afraid. <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> and the same inside a building. You know, if, if the lighting's not good, you don't look good. And you can't do yeah. things that are important to you. Plus, right. the other thing to controlling light is also sometimes controlling the elements of, of the heat or the cold from outside. So, you know, certain window treatments control light, but they also control temperature, which is kind of important. Nice. And, and what goods? The goods. The last thing are the goods. So the stuff. The stuff in the room and what it looks like. And unfortunately, for most people, they want to start at goods. They get really excited about yeah. the stuff. So we really encourage um, our clients at Good Space to stay. That's the last thing that you do. First of all, all those other things have to come first. Right. So, Everybody wants to buy the sofa first. I know I do. You know? <laughs> it's like everyone's so it's like, no, 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 no. What if it, you know, what if you don't Take need that sofa? Yeah. You know, I think that's more important. So what do you need and what can we get you to make you comfortable? And so I think starting off with who you are is where we need to begin. Okay, and you've brought uh, an illustration here of what you do with your mm -hmm. clients. And it's basically all this. Uh, yeah. is what you're using to create this. Exactly. So, you know, use your tape measure, use your grid paper, use your ruler to draw your room out and make some sense of it. So we call this a good space. Well, this is our light plan, but it's basically our function plan with so light the orange overlays. orange lights. Orange yeah. dots yeah. are lights. But it's got all the furniture and everything in there, and this exactly. is to scale, This right? is to scale. So you get an idea when you're walking through the space, like how comfortable are you going to be there? Is there enough mm -hmm. room between your coffee mm -hmm. table and you and your sofa? That kind of stuff. So the function plan, to me, is critical. Without it, you got nothing. Yeah. You really have nothing. And then it's important to also the lighting we included on that. And, and it's important too because where do you need it? You know, a lot of people get, they make the mistake of forgetting that the lamp is awesome, but it doesn't give you enough light right. for what you needed well, it for. And it's so. like everything, you know, I, I think anything else is, is 
people think that they can carry all these concepts in their head, yeah. and I know I've made this mistake before, without putting it down on a piece of exactly. paper and looking at it. And exactly. it's really hard to keep all these things in mind, well, there's all these a, elements you know, We call it death by details, because what happens is people don't really understand that there are a bazillion details in a room. People get caught up in the big, the big picture and don't yeah. understand that the minutiae of details is sort of what makes a room fabulous at the end of the day. And by mm. fabulous means you feel good in it and you're you happy can with live it. In it. You're proud of it yeah. and you're comfortable in it, and that's what really matters. So these tools are step one, and then put it all together. I mean, this is what we produce for our clients, but oh put God. it all, t I know. It's a Bible! <laughs> yeah, it is. But that's brilliant, well, then, right? Well, let's I mean, look at the before and after shots, because sure. they really illustrate what you exactly. can do with a exactly. room. Exactly. This is a, a before shot here. Tell it us is. about this one. Well, this is a Vancouver condo. Pretty, it's a beautiful, you can see the views are spectacular. Yeah. So the priority of the client was honor the views, um, let us have some comfortable seating so we can entertain, have our friends in, and enjoy the views. And so, floor to ceiling, windows, I mean, that is great yeah, in itself, a blessing, and great lighting. Absolutely, a blessing and a curse. So yeah. the curse yeah. being it's smoking hot in there. So yeah. we did he, some he, he, shades he. that you can still see through, but that also deflects Smart. some of the heat. Okay, let's look at the after, and you can see the absolute <laughs> transformation, yeah. not just, I mean, with the layout, but with the furniture and how mm -hmm. you've placed it. Well, I, I just have to brag too, because every piece in this room was made here in Vancouver. So That's amazing. We're so proud of our Vancouver artists and, and designers, so yeah. I, I just can't say enough about them. So all of those pieces were, were made here well, in Vancouver. And we saw, and obviously part of it's a function of the photography, but how much lighter it was after, even though there was exactly. more furniture Exactly, and you know, there. for that client, it was honor the view, obviously, so we did this, the chairs were swivel, and we had uh, pieces that could be moved around, so if they're having a, a night with their friends and they wanted to see the city, move a few things yeah. around, nothing sacred, which I think is really important, nothing static. Right. So, okay, let's look and, at the next before shot here. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about this well, room this and where you went with it. Well, this is a beautiful home to start off with, so when you have something fabulous to start with, it makes your job a lot easier. Um, this is a Vancouver home as well, family room. They needed more seating. We wanted to, you know, bounce off of that beautiful um, piece of art on the right, yeah. and that was sort of our jumping off point. So there's always a challenge, as you mentioned earlier. And a little piano. baby. Wait, and a little grand. piano. Pianos yeah. are hard. Uh, to go. Yeah, they're tough. And then it, there was all kinds of, they just wanted to warm it up. They wanted their family to have lots of seating so they could all gather. Okay, so, let's go to the after. Mission accomplished. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you. So the, the seating, I think we accomplished that. They have a small child, so the big table there actually has a quartz top, so you can, you know, there's no oops in this room. No. It's yeah. all good. No white All the couch. materials, exactly. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, they're beautiful fabrics, but they're all very, And you very can see how you picked up the orange color from the yeah. painting so that it's in the accent yes, detail, exactly. so it all comes together. And big drawers for the kids' toys, and nothing sacred, so but it, away. it still looks. Yeah. And once again, treatments on the windows. Right, and, and, and keeping the heat out. They had a problem of, of heat in that room as well. Beautiful beautiful light, but as I say, blessing and a curse. So the being able to draw the drapes sort of made the room cozier and, and sort of helps on those really hot days. Beautiful well, thank work. you so Love much. Some great you. advice. If you want thank to you. find out more, you can go to Duena's website. It's on the screen for you right now.